Hi, I wanted to take a second to tell you how I clean out my paint thinner and how I clean my brushes in case uh, you were wondering how I do it here at home. So what I do is I make sure that I have on gloves, first of all, and I let my paint settle in the bottom of the thinner for, I don't know, maybe a good 12 hours, maybe 24 hours. As long as the paint thinner looks clear at the top, you know you're good to change it. So what I do is I have two buckets and I go back and forth and I have a Ziploc bag that I put my screen into and then I put it into my bucket. And then I take my paint thinner and I pour it into the new Ziploc bag and I make sure that um, I get everything that's clear into this bag. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna wind up with this Ziploc bag that looks like a big sludgy mess. What I do with this bag is I cut it open and I put it on newspaper and I put it outside and I let it dry out before I dispose of it. Now, if you have actual paint thinner that you need to dispose of, um, make sure that you're looking up a proper disposal site that is near you that takes you know, paint thinner and spray paint and things like that. Make sure that you're disposing of it properly and that you're not pouring it down your drain, pouring it in your yard, or doing anything that, that's not right with it. Please make sure that you're safe with it and use it properly. Thank you. So what I do with my thinner is when I'm not using it, is you can zip up your Ziploc bag, you can close it, and then you put the lid on it and you keep it nice and secure. Make sure that you put your paint thinner bucket out of the reach of children, pets, things like that. Again, make sure that you're safe with it. How I clean my brushes is actually pretty cool. So I learned this in school and I can't imagine not having a Ziploc bag after I started doing this because it just makes it so much easier. So what I do is I have my one inch brush here and what you do is you swirl it in and it wipes against the um, screen that's in the bottom and it spreads open those bristles and gets all that extra paint out. So then what I do is I take my Ziploc bag and I squeeze out any extra thinner. Then I have a trash can that has a beater rack in it. And then you can beat off your brush in here and it'll take off any of that extra thinner as well. Now what's gonna happen over time is the bottom of this trash bag is going to start getting thinner in the bottom of it. It's gonna start to accumulate in the bottom. What you wanna do with that is pour it back into your bucket and then I have a lid that also goes on this trash can that keeps it secure as well. But um, you want to make sure that you're pouring any extra back into here and that you're not leaving this um, or forgetting that this has thinner in it because it's, it's easy to remember that you have this and that you need to put this up and you need to keep this secure. But to remember that you now have a contaminated trash can that you need to um, make sure that you're keeping up and keeping safe and that no one can get into is also equally important. So make sure that you're taking care of both of these properly. Um, after that, I take a paper towel and I will wipe this off if it needs to, but most of the time it's fine. By the time you squeeze it out here and you beat it here, it's pretty good to go. And um, that's pretty much it. This is how I had learned to do it whenever I went to school. And it's just kind of stuck with me over the years. And this is how I clean my paint thinner and how I clean my brushes. Again, make sure that you're wearing gloves, make sure you're disposing of everything properly. But if you go with this system, I find it to be pretty mess free other than, you know, making sure that I keep everything put up so that no one gets into it or my pets don't get into it. Other than that, I haven't had any problems with paint thinner sp splashing on the walls or any kind of mess of, of any kind. So uh, this is what I do. If you guys do it any differently, let me know, but I hope that this is helpful for you and uh, it gives you a, a good tip. I think the Ziploc bags are, are just amazing and I couldn't imagine not using them. So let me know what you guys do and I hope that this is, uh, this is helpful for you. Thanks.